Episode 3, Part 2 of the Art of Sculpting Your Business podcast is being sponsored by the City of Virginia Beach Conventions and Visitors Bureau. You deserve a Virginia Beach vacation. Hello and welcome to Episode 3, Part 2, The Entrepreneur Mindset and Your Roadmap to Success. This is the Art of Sculpting Your Business a six-part series dedicated to highlighting resources, tools, and tips designed to drive innovation and growth. We are your hosts, LaVera Tolentino. And Sheila Johnson. In today's episode, we will be speaking with Joshua Alvello of Innovative Twist. He is also the founder of Kids in Biz, an entrepreneurial program based out of Virginia Beach, Virginia, for children. Joshua Thanks so much for joining us. You know we all have a story. Tell us yours. So, whoo, where do we start? Okay, Innovate Twist. Um, so, military brought me here in 2000. I uh, was on the USS Report. Got out the military in 2004. Couldn't get a job doing, I was IT actually in the Navy. Um, couldn't do that when I got out because I didn't have any college. And end up working at FedEx Kinko's. And that's how I learned the print game. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Interesting. So is that how we became Mr. Innovative Twist? So, yeah. So once I learned the print game, then I was like, oh, I like this. And then I was like, okay, let me figure out how to do this on my own. Um, so sitting on the couch, I was like, let me put words together that I like. So I wrote down a bunch of names or words, and Innovative Twist was one of them. I made sure the dot .com was available, and that's literally how I came up with the name. Wow. I love it. Tell me how and why did you start the company? Uh, so back then it was really because I just I had a family. I just had my one-year-old's birthday just passed, needed to do something, take care of them. So it started for necessity, right? I had to take care of my family. Now, if you ask me today, it's a whole different story. You know? Absolutely. Um, Sounds like the organization has really evolved. Yes. You know, so it used to just be printing. Now it's really not, I don't care about printing. It's more of the success of businesses, right? Because I control their success when they come to me. I'm not your average printer where you come to me and, yeah, I can print it. But most of my clients don't even know who they're targeting, right? They skip the most important part of business, and that's the branding side of things. Absolutely. So now we sit there, we have a conversation, and they leave with their money still in their pocket. Wow. I love it. You know why, LaVera? We talked about this on one of the episodes mm -hmm. in regards to marketing, branding, the importance of doing your homework, really identifying your target market. Right. It's an it's upcoming not, episode that absolutely. we're going to talk about that marketing strategy. Absolutely. And branding was one of those components. It's key. If, if you can't figure out who you're talking to, you're wasting money, right? So when you come to me, now it's to the point where it's, I know who you're trying to reach. So if I'm designing it, I'm putting your target on it's on there so they can wow. pick it up. I'm not shooting in the in the dark hoping that this is going to work and bring you clients. No, I want it to where it actually is bringing you your money back. That's excellent. What challenges, other than what you just mentioned, you know, just getting out of the military, had a background in IT, could not find employment because you didn't have the necessary degrees to do so. Other than that, what challenges did you face when starting your business? So I think the biggest thing is mentors, right? It, the market here, they don't like to share, right? Mm -hmm. And it's the weirdest thing to me ever. Um, so no one ever held my hand. No one ever taught me how to be in business. So everything was self-taught along the way. Right. So there's the hiccups, there's the struggles, there's the, you know, uh, I don't want to do this anymore. You know, I'm ready to go back to a nine to five because there was never anyone who's like, hey, let me show you how to do this. Right. And I think. And you can do it. Yeah, absolutely. And so what happens now is every struggle that I do, uh, that I go through, I promote to everyone that I know. Right. So at my office, we had a flood. Right. On a side that we haven't done anything with yet we didn't even use that side but one of the toilets overflowed we weren't there we walked in in the morning and it was like a pool right 
me and my wife, we just joke about it. And everybody's like, how can you joke about this? Like, literally, it's a pool in your office. I'm like, because what is it? What can I do right now to solve it? Nothing. Right. right? So come to find out, my insurance didn't cover anything. Right. I don't know. I called and said, hey, I need business insurance. That means give me everything that I need Mm -hmm. for business insurance. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay whatever it costs. Right. Well, that's not how it works. They're like, oh, well, you didn't have sewage backup insurance. Wow. Oh, what's that? Right. So now I tell people who rent offices, make sure you have sewage backup insurance. And on top of that, make sure you have it at home. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Literally, it was maybe a twenty five dollar difference a month. So I lost $10,000 worth of stuff, and I'm sitting here like, why didn't anyone ever teach me this? Right. So now mm-hmm. I, I teach everyone moving forward because I had to learn the hard way. Mm-hmm. So a lot of it is it's, the resources are hard to find. Um, back then were hard to find on how to start, where to go. You know, Now I think we have a lot of pop-ups where people can go and really learn the business side of things. Um, they just got to do the homework, mm-hmm. right, and find those places. I think you guys have one now, right? Hives. Mm-hmm. Hives. Absolutely. The hive. Yeah, yeah, the Hive it's is one of those a, things, yeah, right? It's a, it's a business resource center. And I just learned about it, right? right. And I'm excited right. about it because right. this is what entrepreneurs need. Everyone starts as a side hustle, and then they see the money coming in, but they really don't even know their numbers. They don't know who they're targeting. They're literally skipping everything that they need to know and think they're making money when in reality you're really not making anything. Right. And I I do think, Josh, thank you so much for sharing that story. Just with the issue, the flood issue that you had in your building, it was a hard lesson to learn. But should the person on the other end had understood that you were starting a business and perhaps may have said, you know, if you're located in this space, these are some uh, other items that you may need. Give us the option. Give you the option. Give me the option to decline whatever it is, and let me make the choice and be like, hey, no, I don't think I need that, right? Right. Then it would have been my fault. Mm -hmm. But at this point, this is your fault because I literally said I need business insurance. Yeah, That's Mm -hmm. it. Business insurance should encompass everything that we need to secure our, what do you, my investment, really. Right, your investment, investment. your assets, yeah. Yeah, I don't want to lose anything. So I want to make sure I'm covered no matter what. But they didn't teach me that. Right. right. And they didn't tell me that. They don't. So who we don't know what we're truly covered on until something bad happens. Right. And and what I loved about that, your story, you sharing that story, that specific story, is that you learned from that lesson. And you felt it was important enough that when you're mentoring someone else, that you also share that information to ensure that not only are they covered, but they fully understand what the value is of asking additional questions. Yeah, yeah, you definitely start knowing to, okay, what does this, like now more questions are asked than before because now I get an understanding of, okay, maybe not everything is covered or let me ask, do I have a warranty with this? Do I have... you have to ask so many more questions now instead of just buy this product and that's it, right? Right. There's so much more that you need to know to make sure it works for you. It's so many different scenarios in business that we're not ready for. Right. Having a community and a place where you can go and literally just have discussions, meetups and roundtables and gives you the opportunity to pour into people who are about to start a business, who are already in business, who have no idea some of the stuff that you're teaching them, makes an impact. And for us, we believe everything that we go through in life is so we can preach and teach to others. Absolutely. Right? So. And, uh, and he- here's the thing I'm hearing you say as well. There is enough for all of us. Listen, <laughs> this is one of my favorite topics, right? If we go to the grocery store and we go to the bread aisle, how many different breads are there? Right. That's all. They're all competition. But people like my personality. People like yours. It doesn't matter. I had a, a me and my wife, we judged a competition one day, and this guy comes up to me. He's like, hey, you do T-shirts? I'm like, yeah. He goes, listen, I've offered to pay people to teach me how to use my machine, and they won't teach me. I said, bro, oh, just, wow. just come to the shop. Bring your stuff. Come to the shop. Free. I'm going to teach you. Here's my logic behind this. My logic is if my machine breaks... I have a backup, right? 
I taught someone something that doesn't affect me. He has customers I will never touch, mm -hmm. right? And guess what? If some of my customers leave, it's okay because now he can provide for them. I'm going to gain new clients. My personality is what brings people, my knowledge, my uh, what I know now helps me bring in new clients every day. I, right. I don't, I've been in business 18 years. Uh, I don't promote like I used to because now it's word of mouth, but some of my clients are TikTok, are, you know, the colleges, the cities, the, you know, I, I didn't look for them. They, they found me. Right. I, I don't mind sharing anything that I know. I have a friend in Maryland this last week. She's like, hey, I'm thinking about getting this. I'm like, that's probably the bad idea. I looked into that. No, do this. Then I'm like, matter of fact, don't even buy those equipment. Let me show you how to make money and not spend money. And I give her some of my vendors, and she's like, wait, what? You don't do that? I'm like, no, why? That means I got to hire more people. That means I got to spend time doing right. it. If I can get it at a good cost, and she's like, you're different. I'm like, why? <laughs> she goes, because you're giving me information that no one would ever give me. I said, there's plenty of money for everybody. Absolutely. There's I don't need to it. hoard it. Why would I hoard something that doesn't? I, my job is to create an impact in our community. I can't do it by myself. Right. So if I teach you something that I know, now you can help me do the same job that I'm trying to do. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's what the goal is. Wow. Absolutely. And LaVera, you know what? That also sounds like that unique selling proposition. Right. You know, he's very comfortable with that because he said, I can't do everything. It's not my goal to do everything. Mm -hmm. My goal is really to mentor others right. so that we can all have a seat at the table. Right. And I'm good with that. Right. So you got to listen to that marketing strategy episode that's coming up because there are a lot of what he's talking about is part of that whole episode there about that, you know, that unique selling proposition, uh, proposition that USP as in Paul. And so that's that you got an amazing story. I, I, it, it gives me chills. And, really and a heart to see yeah. others succeed. Right. That should be right. everybody. Everybody right. should see. Right. See that. Yeah. And so we, we kind of, you know, uh, uh, Sheila had another question and I, I'm just going to jump in on this one. And and the vision for your company, you've kind of like outlined or told us the vision that you have for yourself and, and sharing and mentoring and all that. Um, but what's the overall goal or vision for your company? Uh, for Innovate Twist, our goal is literally to create successful entrepreneurs. Right. The stigma is. Most businesses, 80% of businesses go out of business in the first, what, two to three years? Mm -hmm. We don't want that anymore, right? I want people, if they're going to jump into business, our community needs it, for one, right? right? But I want them to stay successful. Um, the more people that we can have that are successful, the more people I can rely on when I need things, right? It's right. For me, like, actually, relationships are everything, right? I'm wearing a mm -hmm. T-shirt that we created. Mm -hmm. It's a clothing line we're dropping for entrepreneurs, I'm about relationships over money. The money doesn't matter. The relationships actually bring money. Mm -hmm. I Absolutely. Do, I follow mm -hmm. my purpose. I don't follow money. If I follow money, I'm gone tomorrow. That's if right. I follow my purpose, I'm here forever. Right? So our Amen, goal Josh. is mm -hmm. to teach people the real way to do business. Because a lot, I had a master electrician come in last week, and he didn't even know nothing about sales tax. Wow. And he's a master electrician. Wow. So with his own business. Right. And he's there to do a service for me. And I'm teaching him business on the way. He's like, how do you know this? I'm like, I've been in business 18 years. I learned the hard way. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. so education yeah. is key. He probably lost, I don't know how much money. Absolutely. At this particular point, because he's going to be accountable for those sales tax. Right. So you look at things and you're just like, and that's why people go out of business. Right. Because they're not educated. Right. Yeah. We have to educate them. We have to, listen, if you know who you're talking to, if you're educated, you will be successful, period. Wow. Crickets. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and it's interesting because, um, you know, one of my questions for you is uh, what were your thoughts on uh, mentoring entrepreneurs who desire to be in the same industry? But I think, you know, you basically covered that. Because Come on. Yeah. You, it looks like you just don't mentor within your own industry, but even outside of your, your industry, as we said, with the, the electrician. Um, but um, tell me, just, just kind of elaborate a little bit more on, on how you mentor and your thoughts on doing that. So mentorship, that it's key, right? I wish I had that. So 
I'm going to tie in something else, which is kids in biz, right? So the nonprofit we're building where we'll actually teach kids how to start their own business. Well, you're still in a little bit of my thunder there. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll, give, I'll give it back to you in a little bit. But okay. I'll bring it back. Yes, okay. Go ahead. Go I, I ahead, only had to say that because the reason that is built is for that right there. Okay. Mentorship, okay. right? I wish someone held my hand when I started my business 18 years ago. Right. Because I wouldn't be where I'm at today. I'd be a multimillionaire right. able to help more people, right? The more money I make, the more money I can pour into my community. Right. Right? If I had someone hold my hand and teach me the things that I didn't know, I wouldn't have lost so much money. Mm -hmm. Right? I'd be so far ahead. So what we want to do is, what our mentorship stuff is, teach you exactly the steps. Put you in position to be successful to help our community. At the end of the day, everything comes back to helping our community. If I can bring people on board, do conferences, sit down before you even spend money with me, I don't, I'm not, I don't care about money. I'm saving lives. That's what I do. That's passion. See, that that's what I'm saying. Yeah. This this story just kind of it just blew me away. Yeah. Uh, and, that's passion. And, and yeah, honestly, I, I I went to pick up some things uh, from Josh's shop one day, and and when I walked in the door, of course, I went to the the wrong door. But there's a strategy behind that. <laughs> right. There is. I went to the innovative twist door, and I rang the bell, but the person came out of this other door and they said, we're over here. And I was like, oh, OK. And I, they didn't say a word. They were just like, come on in. And I, came, I went in and I was standing in the midst of a of a room and I, I was trying to figure it out. I was like, OK, what is this? This is not innovative twist. But what is this? And I got in that room and my mind just started to, to start just wandering. And it was like. I see a sign over here. I see a sign over here. I see this big backdrop. I see TV screens and these these nice chairs I'm sitting mm -hmm. in. And, and and they were gone for a minute. And I think this was by design. Right. They were gone. They went to get my little items and everything. And uh, they came back. And I was like, what's going on here? What is this? And so I, I, I'm going to get to that part in a minute because I think that, blows me away and I think it blows a lot of individuals oh, yeah. away when they hear that story and so I think you know with you you know of course you face challenges okay you developed your company even through those challenges mm -hmm. um, and then you're just successful in so many different ways and we talked about that yeah. the different ways and it's not always about the money Correct. Okay, the success is not always about money. It's always about relationships. It's about relationships. And then the one thing that you and I really talked about was that uh, that piece of giving back to the community. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? How do you do it through Innovative Twist? So we do a lot of community events. Um, we give back. So let's use COVID, for instance, right? When COVID happened, everybody was freaking out, right? We didn't know what to do. I'm the only printer that discounted my stuff so cheap that every printer in town was mad at me. But there was a method behind my madness. If I didn't do that, they wouldn't be here when I, we got back to normal. Mm -hmm. I wasn't trying to make money. I needed you to be here so when we get back to normal, you're still able to take care of your family. You're still taking care of your community. So we did it so cheap that every printer was mad at me. I'm like, guys, they're not going to be here for you to print for them if I don't do this. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. So, you know, those are the things that we do. We think of things completely different than everybody else. I'm not here to take away from anybody. I need to pour in. If I can give you something, if I can give you business cards to hand out at your next event, which typically we'll do if there's conferences and we're designing on stuff, I'm like, hey, tell all your attendees. We'll give them free business cards, you know, so that they can hand out and network. Mm -hmm. Um, but then we'll do, you know, we did Mother's Day things. We do, we do all the things that everybody does, but my biggest one that I felt proud of was my COVID thing, you know, and mm -hmm. we weren't mm -hmm. even doing great. I mean, you, no one was printing really, you know, so we had a transition into doing t-shirts and, you know, now we're moving a, around and it's starting to get back to where it was, but it's never going to be where it's, right. prices are crazy, paper's hard to get, you right, know. Right. Supply chain issues. Yeah, yeah, you know, but sometimes we have to sacrifice ourselves, too, to help others, and that's what we do. Right. And our right. give back is so important that 
you'll see when we talk about the next segment, that's where our, our passion and our give back is right there. Well, let, let's go ahead. Let's not let's not keep the, the listeners <laughs> waiting. Now they're like, what let's are not, they talking about? Not, I want to yeah, know. I know. Let's not keep them waiting <laughs> on this one because this is this one right here is like it's like I don't know. It's like a, 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 a gym to me. Uh, I, I told you I walked into this space and I just I didn't understand. It. And I was like, what's going on here? So tell us, tell us about that. So I've already getting chills so, and excitement about it. So tell us the name and then tell us how it came about and then what it is you're going to do. Because I just love this idea. So this is my new baby. This is like my passion. This is so kids and biz, right? Okay. So wait, this is your baby, but this is also somebody else's baby. Oh, yeah. Me, my wife, like my whole family. So we built okay. this. So we've had this idea for years. But the print business was so busy, we never had time to execute it. So during COVID is when we actually put all this start. We started putting it together. And it was nice for our family because it was we got to get away from home and we got to build something together. Mm-hmm. All the walls that you see, it's super colorful in my office, super, super colorful, right? I love bright colors. And um, it's a space for kids. So we took each kid. And we taped the walls and we did designs in the wall and each one painted, right? We have different designs on the walls, but even my four-year-old at that time, he was two, mm-hmm. painted the wall. And he'll go and he'll tell you, he'll be like, I painted that spot right there. <laughs> exactly <laughs> what he told me. And he that, took me it. to that spot. He oh, said, yeah. this is the I spot. This it. is what I painted right yeah. here. And he gives the tour. He, oh, yeah. He, he gave told me a tour. every single he room. He gave me a tour. Yeah. And he's like, me and daddy did those chairs, right? Yeah. You know, and... It created a safe place. Well, for before us. you, here's my thing about kids: they're more expansive than we really think they are, than we give them credit for. So I love the fact that you included your entire family, even your children, oh, absolutely, as it relates to building this project. Oh, absolutely! And it's so funny because if you probably call my office now, we just started letting my four-year-old answer the phone. <laughs> the phone. <laughs> so it's the funniest thing. And everybody loves it. They eat it right. up. But if you, if you know my four-year-old, he is an entrepreneur without even knowing he's an entrepreneur because right. he watches, right? I haven't Absolutely. taught nothing. Yeah. And he gives a tour every time someone comes. Before you leave, he's like, here's a business card, right? Yes. He's like, send me an email. He doesn't even have email set up, right? Yet, right? <laughs> and, it's, and it's the funniest thing. Yes. So, you know, the space is we wanted something that would make kids feel safe. Um, but also teach them, right? So Kids in Biz is going to teach kids 8 to 18 how to start their own business. I love it. But we're 12-month program. We're not teaching you how to walk a dog. We're not teaching you how to cut grass. We're not teaching you how to um, babysit, right? Those are hobbies. Those are, you know, I'm going to teach you how to own a daycare, a dog training facility, or a landscaping company. I'm tired of people teaching kids to not think bigger. Well, I think they're putting limits on children. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, right? And there is no limits when it comes to kids. Right. Kids are naturally creative and curious, Mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. I want them to know it's okay to fail at such a young age. I don't care what idea you have. It's a learning experience. Absolutely. Failure equals greatness, Mm -hmm. period. Mm -hmm. But I do think a lot of times as adults we project that on the children. Absolutely. Because children don't know that. They're just like, well, I'll just do it again. Children really don't know. We just project those They could be drawing on the wall and we're like, stop that, right? Well, that's me. Now, now, but, Josh, but, but, now, wait a minute. But hold on, let me tell you. Let me, let me break it down, right? I would have been the same way back then. Don't do that. You're messing up my walls. But what? Paint can fix that. Yeah, that's real. But that's right. He could be the next one to be the biggest mural designer, period, and you would have stopped his creativity. Well, I will tell you what, Josh, you're absolutely right, and I will tell you I do have a grandson that is eight months old, and so I will make sure that he has a space in my house that he can just draw walls. Now, my children were not allowed to do that. Absolutely. But, I would let but you so I, Kids and Biz has to teach parents the very as well, uh, no. right? Yes. But we, we stop them from being creative at such a yes, young age. Yes, we do. We stun it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They can be doing the weirdest thing. We're like, stop. But that weirdest thing can change the world. Absolutely. And that's what we want to do. We don't care what ideas you come with. Come and we're going to try to execute them. And if we don't execute them, guess what? We'll try a different way. 
So we want them to understand it's okay to fail. We teach them. So in the facility, we have podcast studio, right? Mm -hmm. Because we want, if they want to learn how to, let's say, be a, build houses, I'm going to have someone who's been doing that for years come and tell their story. Yes. What was the struggles? What was, the, what was your successes, right? So that they know what they're about to get into. 90% of the time, they'll probably end up becoming mentors. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't want to put them with someone who's not even in the industry that they want to be. Right. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't. I need you to know that what it's possible. It, mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we have a meditation room. Oh, I love to it. teach them to quiet your mind. Just sit in silence, and then just listen to what God's about to tell you. Absolutely. Right. Then we have our affirmation room, mm -hmm. which is a mirror, a stage. It says, step into your greatness. You know, we have affirmation wor uh, words on the walls. And in there, my wife will be in there and talking to them to make sure that they feel great about themselves, right? This is a space where most people are self-conscious of so many things. Yeah, They don't feel safe talking to anybody about it. We're creating a space where they can feel safe and just cherish who they are and love themselves, right? Let me go back to this, Josh, because you glazed over it. The meditation room. I think that's so important, not only for children, but for everyone to be in a quiet space, to be able to sit with yourself and to be able to listen to God and what he's telling you. Absolutely. It is critical. And I also think it's so important because now we're seeing the stats of children that are suicidal, mm -hmm. that are feeling as if they have no value, no worth. And so I will tell you, with those two things, you're doing much more than giving kids the confidence that they are capable, capable that they can do anything. You're also saying your mental stability is critical to your success. And it's mm -hmm. okay if you take time out for yourself. Please be selfish and take time And it's for okay to uh, speak to someone to get that noise that is not serving you out of your head. Absolutely. But, but more than that, too, the, the affirmation room, it, when you walk into that room and you see that mirror there and you step up on that stage, the mirror is on the stage and you look at yourself. Oh, I love that. But on top you, of that, behind you, you is a sign that says exactly. you are... And it reconfirms in the mirror too. Oh, and, it. and it just the you can see it in the mirror. So you know when you look in the mirror, the things behind you are backwards, right? But these words behind you, I printed them backwards so that they look. Yes. Yeah, so when you look in the mirror, you see the words written exactly as they. You don't have to figure it out. It says you're great. Yeah. You know when you look in that mirror, it is just the most awesome thing I, I, that I have ever seen. And yeah. when I tell you there's a lot of words in there, oh, yeah. there are so many words in there that you walk in there. I mean, even me, I walked in there and I felt different. I looked Empowered. at these words. Yeah. Right. And, and I'm like, oh goal. my goodness, yeah. this, this is like awesome. This, I mean, they, they have really, really got a good yeah, thing Yeah, we here. went deep and tried to figure all that out, you know, like it was, you know, to your point for the meditation room, if you can sit in silence and hear from God, guess what? When it's loud, you can still hear from him. Absolutely. And that's what we're teaching, mm -hmm. right? Um, three things that we do. Save lives. This goes back to mm -hmm. one of your points you just said. Um, bullying is all about being different. Yeah. Well, guess what? Entrepreneurship world, I want you to be different. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I get to create a community of like-minded people who are different. Right. So I save lives. That's your superpower. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Being different. Mm -hmm. I break generational curses. That's right. right. As parents, we're always like, you got to get a good job. You got to take care of your family. So the first thing kids do is, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a lawyer. So now they're chasing money. It may right. not be ideal for them. Right. That may right. not be their area. Absolutely. That may not be their strong suit. But they think that's what they had to do because right. we said you have to do this. College should be treated like business. If you go to college, if your purpose requires you to have that degree to be able to solve the problem. Right. So one of my daughters, she's graduated at 16 uh, last year. She's 17. She starts college in January, right? She, I was like, what do you want to do? She's like a lawyer. I'm like, why? She goes, they make a lot of money. I'm like, wrong answer. <laughs> right? She goes, what, Dad? I was like, wrong answer. You're going to hate it in 10 years, right. five years, even two, right. and spend a lot of money, right? 
Now, if you would have came to me and was like, Dad, I watched the news. So many innocent people are going to jail. I got to do something about that. What is your passion? You're yeah. passionate about it. So I know you got to get that degree to solve that problem. Money chases you now. You're not chasing money. Mm -hmm. Right. So I believe now college should be treated like a business. Is it necessary? Most people have a college degree, don't even use it. Mm -hmm. And they start their life in debt. It's hard to get out of debt when you start at such a young age, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when you don't have people teaching you how to manage money. That's right. Mm -hmm. The things that I learn, I teach my kids now. Right. My daughter didn't buy a used car. We leased a car. We rent what depreciates and her go this year or next year is to buy a duplex right? because that's going to make her money. Mm -hmm. That's right. right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that when I was a kid. So we want to teach these kids that. So we break generational curses. And then the third thing we um, do is create an impact in the community. Wow. Every time kids make money, we donate money to whatever causes you believe in, whether it's you grew up in a house of domestic violence or drugs and alcohol and you feel like you want to help other kids, you pour money right back into that situation. That's right. We have guest speakers who will go come every Friday, right? I don't care what you do. Tell me your story. That's right. The power is in the story, not in what you do, mm -hmm. right? Um, after they graduate the program, so the program is 12 months. They'll learn sales, marketing, finances, communications, branding, everything, right? Uh, by the time they graduate, they have an S Corp LLC. Uh, we do their website, their logo, retractable banners, table call, everything that they need that most businesses, adult businesses don't even have right now. Right. When they graduate, we still meet twice a month. One, to continue to have guest speakers, and two, to sit there and talk as a collective on where you're struggling. Mm -hmm. A group getting together to solve a problem is a lot Absolutely. easier than one person trying to figure it out on their own. You're right. Because somebody in the group has already had the problem and they've already solved it. Exactly. Right. Our mission is to create a million kidpreneurs. Oh, I love it. If I had a million kidpreneurs during COVID, you don't think we would have created a solution oh, for COVID? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have a million minds thinking completely different on a subject coming together to solve one problem. We will solve world problems together. Absolutely. These kids, entrepreneurship is not for everybody, but it's, it's life skills. Everybody should right. know. Right. When you, but I think it's the mindset, right? Ab absolutely. Even if you don't start a business, you have the mindset of a business. that you know how to problem solve. So guess what happens? You go work for somebody, you become an asset now absolutely. because you think like the boss. Now, I'm thinking of how can I save the money? How can I make them more money? Now I understand the hours I got to put in to mm -hmm. be successful. Mm -hmm. I understand what the boss goes through now, right. right? That's what I want. So if you don't become an entrepreneur, cool, it's okay. You have the skills though. That's and right. no skills right. equal more money, equal in any job that you work for. You're not just a person clocking a right. nine to five. Right. That's right. There's pur your, your purpose, you're still doing your purpose, you just didn't want the task of owning a business. Right. That's You're it. right about that. That's for sure. Oh, Sheila, I think I'm going to become an entrepreneur. So the funny I part is. I think you already is, are. Listen, after I, so after I dropped kids in biz, adults in biz, felons in biz, homeless in biz, veterans in biz, will all be launched. Okay, so I you know we, we, we're going to have to have another episode of this one. All four of those. I, I listen, will tell all you. All four of those, I want them to go out of business. It's funny to say, right? But if you think about it. If Kids and Biz does its job, none of those will ever exist. Absolutely. Hey, hey, you're right. Absolutely. You're right. You're absolutely right on and that. And there's kids being born every like, day, so I'm go good. out of business, but you're right, because you don't want it to exist in those areas. Right. I, want, right. I need to help people now, right? That's right. Where they're at. I need to meet them where they're at now. Absolutely. Well, well, you know, this has been a very interesting conversation. I guess we could go on and on and oh, on, yeah, but we, is... we're going to have to have another episode, like I said before. But um, for now, tell us how people can reach out to you, reach you and, and, and get involved in, in what you're doing in the community or, or if they need a mentor. So tell us how they can reach you. So for, listen, I'm so transparent. You can call me. You can text me and ask me any questions you want. Like that's or or they can call your four year old. Or, I mean, they're gonna get him first, and then he's gonna direct <laughs> him to dad. Because they call and they're like, "Is your dad there?" Yeah, he's like, "Yeah, hold on one second. You know, and, that's, and then he does that. Um, social media, all of my social media is Innovate Twist for the print side, and Kids and Biz for the other side. Um, and Kids and Biz hasn't launched yet, just because I'm only one person, and me and my wife are like you know, mm -hmm. trying to get back on the print side. So we're almost ready to launch that program. Good. And once that program launches, we plan on being in every city, every state, every every country. 
Wow. What are we talking about launch day? Are we talking six months, three months? You anticipate? I would say between the next three to six months, it'll be, it's almost there, right? Okay. My, I'm developing my own curriculum. Okay. And that's what takes the longest, right? Because it's not what I do. But there's other people who are going to have to teach what I want. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. So the way I'm doing it is in a way where it's just bullet points. I just need you to touch on I want you to teach the way you teach. I need your personality Absolutely. put into the program, right. Right? Right. right? I don't need you to follow a script. I want right. it all natural. Um, so six to three to six months, we'll be ready. Um, so all social media is Kids and Biz, Innovate Twist, my phone number, 757-553-1111. Listen, <laughs> I've had it seven, for... 777 seven, seven, Listen, that 1111. 553-1111. <laughs> Look, okay. you can text, call, I don't care. I'm so transparent that I want people to succeed. Right. Like, that's the biggest goal. Well, here's know? the thing. I see his passion. Yeah, and, very passionate. And I'm hoping that those listening... They can feel his passion as well. And I will tell you something so interesting that he said was when he first started, he lost money. You may have lost money, oh, yeah. but you've gained yeah. wisdom. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And in addition to gaining the wisdom, you're willing to share it with others so that they can succeed. And I will tell you, losing whatever you lost initially is invaluable as to what you have yeah. now. And, and not only that, his family. The family is passionate about the program. Yeah. Yes. Too. Just like you hear him talk about it, his wife is is just as passionate about it. I was I, I just was stunned when I walked in there and I saw all the... And not only he didn't even touch on all the other rooms all that right. he has I in mean, there. Yeah. Uh, he's got there's some other... There's a photography studio. Yeah. There's the computer lab room, the board room. Uh, there's a t-shirt room where the kids actually make their own shirts. Um, for their business. They make their, their own shirts for yeah. their business yeah. to promote their business. So and it, that's it's just a, a prototype. It was just, I need people to see the vision, right? I could talk about it all day. Right. But when you right. actually walk in right. and see it, you're blown away. I have kids who literally don't want to leave. I had a FedEx driver who was like, oh, my God, what is this? Right? This was last yeah. week. She walked in and she's like. Did she stay I'm, as long as I stayed? She did. She was like, <laughs> because it's so cozy. She was like, I, I'm ready for a nap. See? Right? Oh, my and, goodness. And we That's loved so that she said that. So then she was like, what is this? And then we gave her the tour. And then she was like, listen, I'm about to retire and I want to come in. I want to help. Oh my goodness! Like Isn't that it, amazing? It's yes. just, so just crazy. I'm telling you, when you walk in there, you feel something. You feel the and energy. And then yes. when you hear the story, right? You're just like you're ready to just get in there and be a part of his community and help do whatever it is. Yeah, you know, I for mean, the vision. change kids' lives. Save, save, save lives. Save, save lives. them. <laughs> I'm saying save yeah. and change. change. Yes. You know, it's, because they now have a vision. They have a safe space where it's okay to be the unicorn. Absolutely. Everybody yeah. in here is a unicorn. Yeah. Exactly. My differences are my superpowers. Exactly. Right. It comes right. down to these kids are in the streets. Right. right? They're killing each other. Because we're not exposing them to the things that they want to do. Absolutely. If we expose them to the things that they want to do, and I think I told you, like my, mm-hmm. this is just a prototype. My bigger vision is a walmart size building, new age boys and girls club, you know, free for kids, open 24-7. Yes. And it has the studio. It has the dance studio, the STEM room, anything that you can think of. Where do you think the kids are going to be? They at won't the be facility. on the street. That's, That's right. right. Exactly. Yep. That's right. So yep. it's exposure. The key word is exposing them. Right. You'll never have to worry about where your kid is because, you know, they're in a safe place. Learn what they want to learn. Right. Not right. only do we teach them if they want to be a rapper. Guess what? You might not Give be good at tools. it. Yeah. You might not be good at it. Let but we're also going to teach you how to produce, produce beats, that's write right. music, market in that industry. There's so many different lanes See, that's a lot. that Absolutely. you can that's go a lot. into. Absolutely. And that's how we save them from the streets. Absolutely. Well, uh, Joshua, uh, a.k.a. Mr. Innovative Twist. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much for joining us. This has been he very be enlightening. AKA the second coming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking so, that. I'm taking yeah, that. Look, he's, and he's going to market it and brand, he's going to use it as part yes. of his brand. But, you know, I, just to recap a little bit, we've got, you know, mentorship, resources, community discussions, 
Uh, and, and then even the piece about the business insurance, kind of knowing mm -hmm. and giving back and telling people your story so that they can also, you know, do something to maybe help with their business um, in that area. Uh, but then we also he heard those two important words that with the, you know, kids in biz, you know, passion and purpose. Absolutely. Um, and so, and then we, all, we had heard so many different things that we could talk about. But again, we, we thank you for joining us. Thanks for I know we're going to have you back. Uh, at another time. Um, so to our audience, our listeners out there, um, if you have a question regarding this week's uh, episode of the Art of Sculpting Your Business, uh, send it to artofbiz at vbgov.com. Uh, be sure to include your name um, so that we can share it on an upcoming episode. Again, that email is artofbiz at vbgov.com. Thank you so much, Lavera. Uh, next week, we'll continue our conversation. Our special guest will be Dr. Sharon Harrington of TRY, that's T-R-Y, again, Health and Fitness, LLC. The topic, work-life blend. Dr. Harrington will discuss health and self-care that every business owner should practice. Trust me, you don't want to miss it. Thank you to our sponsor, the City of Virginia Beach Conventions and Visitors Bureau, your well-earned Virginia Beach vacation awaits you.